Yeah, hi guys. So let's look at uh, this question here. So it's that twenty twenty one, of course. This question says that Mr. Joe's buys some eggs. After bringing the eggs home, he finds two to be rotten and throws them away. Okay. Of the remaining eggs, he puts five ninth in his fridge and brings the rest to his mother's house. She cooks two eggs and puts the rest in her fridge. If her fridge cannot hold more than five eggs, that means if the capacity of fridge is how much? That is less than equal to five, है ना? What is the maximum possible number of eggs bought by Mr. Joe? So then, what you can think here is, uh, let's say initially he had some y plus two x, है ना? If he had initially y plus two x, so of that uh, he finds a two x were rotten and he throws them away. That means now he is left with y x. Now once he is left with y x of this y x, he puts five by nine in his fridge. That means he is left with four by nine. Anna. So once he has kept five by nine of it in the fridge, now his left is four by nine. So with that he came to his mother's house. Now what did uh, what did his mother do here? Okay, she cooks two eggs and puts the rest in her fridge, and her fridge cannot uh, hold more than five. That means the the cap the before uh, how many eggs he brought to from his so how many eggs he brought to his mother's home? Okay, so how many eggs he brought to his mother's home? So that is uh, two. X she cooked, ah, uh, and the other number is less than equal to five. Okay, so other number is what? That is less than equal to five. Okay, less than equal to five because maximum five X the fridge can hold, right? That means, ah, uh, he has bought. If I add, if I take maximum five also, so Y into four by nine is equal to this can be this this number will be always less than equal to seven. Two plus five is seven, right? That means less than equal to seven. Now, now why I know that I need to play here with this number that with this value that x uh, number of x always should be integer. It cannot be fraction, right? So x cannot be fraction. Always it has to be integers. Okay. So that basically means that y into four by nine. Any value I assume that is less than equal to seven. When it will be integer? When this this four and four will be will be a uh, combined here, right? This four is here. So I just cancel it. Uh, this four and four. So what I'm trying to say is. As I know that is now some number less than equal to seven here, that should be exactly four. Why exactly four? Because uh, in that case, this four and four will get cancelled, and we get some uh, value of y as an integer. Okay, so I can write here y into four by nine. So I need to pick any number less than equal to seven. Let's pick four here. This four and four gets cancelled. Therefore, y is equal to nine. So y is equal to nine. Okay, that means nine eggs he had after throwing two eggs. So two eggs, right? So initially he had y, y plus two, no? That means nine plus two should be equal to eleven, and hence eleven is the answer. So you can see that it was more of a common sense question, not much calculation required, nothing. Now just more of a like understanding the uh, uh, funda behind it. Okay, and hardly one one and half minute question here. Okay.